Ah, the first post Chicago day. Yay! It's kind of gloomy. But it's still. There's nothing to do tonight. We get to relax. Actually, go to the gym. Trying to get back in shape. Trying to get buff. Whatever. <laughs> Yay! I've also got to get a haircut before next week, uh, Thanksgiving, when we go to the Slega family. This goes another week. It's just like mopped up. So I'll try, I'll do my usual call on Tuesday and see if they can take me Friday. <laughs> One of these years I'll actually plan ahead. You can always tell when the holiday season's approaching because every day in the mail now we're getting catalogs to beat the band. What is this? I counted we got just today alone 13 catalogs. And that's a small day. Ugh. Let's see, we got L.L. Bean, Tufts, some Please Buy Something for Starving Kids in Africa magazine, Frontier Gate, never even heard of this one, the Kansas Steak Company catalog, how did we get on their mailing list? Fresh Finds, Tchotchkes Galore, Plow and Hearth. With a really ugly ice skate door decoration. Harrington, some place we'll never buy from. Another Harrington. Some reports. Then this one, which I've never understood. This the Great Gifts Catalog. Okay. Well, back to reality. Off to grocery shop. Hey, it's Ripley, and she's back. Yay. I guess she had a really good day at camp today. She has a new move, I was told, that she goes up to dogs and whacks them on the shoulder and then runs off, and then they play, and apparently they even had to tell her today to be quiet and to use her indoor voice because she was so excited and so happy and playing. And they said, you know, she never used to play before. She would just sit and watch. So this is really good news. She's getting more and more relaxed. Now this is very cute. It was very touching. See, the um, after the last show of Chicago, the um, it's a tradition for the kids to thank everybody, you know, all the adults who took part, like, you know, Mr. Scott and Robleski and Sozio and the parents and blah, 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 blah. And... They forgot about me. They gave me the rose afterwards, but they forgot about me. But frankly, I didn't care because it's always such an awkward moment. Like, yes, here I am, the pianist to save the day. And I really didn't do that much until like the last couple of weeks. But the others, you know, been working since day one. But whatever. It's always a nice gesture, and I always appreciate it. Um, but they forget, felt bad that they had forgotten. So Eleanor and oh, I shouldn't have used names. Eleanor and <laughs> hi, other guy. Um, Cam? No. Eh. Anyways, they ran off to Roach Brothers and they gave this to me today. So, just to say they were sorry and also thank you. So, isn't that nice that they gave me a chocolate cake? Yay! Thumbs up for... Where's my thumb? There it is. Thumbs up for chocolate cake. So, that was very nice. Okay, we're taking one of the cats to the vet tonight to get her hair loss situation like that. So, I'm going to quick make up some lunches and make up the... Uh, Shepherd's pie for dinner. Cook that up real fast. And here we go. Okay. There goes Ripley's dinner. Yes, she gets chicken breast, so. <sighs> Stressful day. Moving concerts around and double bookings and trying to deal with oh, dirty lens. Hold on. <laughs> that was classy. <clears throat> so anyways, just trying to get a bunch of stuff done and then off to the BGMC and still need some time with my puppy because she has to walk 
do her thing. What are you doing? Rip. Come on, girl. Come on. Rip. Let's go eat Davis. Come on. Happy puppy. Happy puppy. Now, driving on my way into the BGMC. Boy, what a creepy night. It's dark. It's cloudy. It's windy. It's cold. It's mist in the air. It's like a night of... It's like a Halloween night. Oh, no. All right. Ah, well, rest stops. I don't know why. It's just one of those weird... Comfort food. Something about them that's very, no matter what time of the day, it's always the same. Yeah, protect because of it. Really? Oh. What are Love these accidents. Wow, this is a good one, right in the middle of the road here. Oh, yeah. Huh. Well, at least the traffic delay was a good accident. I hate it when it's like all that delay and it's like a flat tire and everyone's just stopping to look at the flat tire. At least it was like an accident accident. I know it's bad to think of that, but that's what I think.